Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and that's a 66 Mustang convertible. That baby is a Z code and I'm gonna butcher this all the heck, but I think it's Chaturne. It's a French wine uh, color uh, and it's Chaturne Gold Poly. Now, when you look at this in different lights, it's got a gold tinge to it, then it's got a little bit of a light green metallic tinge to it. Very, very unusual car. Um, not car, but color. The uh, code on the paint is Z. So it's a Z code paint. And the motor is a 289. We do believe it's numbers matching. Of course, with this year car, it's only date code correct. All the dates line up on it. Also, with the top loader transmission, that's a four speed, all those dates also line up. Very, very cool little car. Of course, all the stainless is looking sweet. It is a um, manual top, so you do have to lift the top up and down yourself. That's no big deal. It operates real nice. You see the center console in there is looking good. Uh, the dash is looking beautiful. There's that four speed shifter. Uh, the simulated wood steering wheel is looking great. The, all the gauges are looking sweet. I mean, just everything about the car. Wait till you see this baby up on the lift. The bottom side of the car is just as pretty as the top side. All primered. Very, very nice restoration on the car. You see the tail light uh, bezels looking good. The chrome on the bumpers looking good. Of course, we got the gas fill here. I've only got two keys to choose from here, so I'm really no problem getting the trunk open. Uh, you can see that the wheel wells are all painted up good. Now, whenever you're buying any car, make sure you lift up that mat and look in here. You see that all this is looking good. Now, they've got some insulation on top of the gas tank. As you Mustang guys know, that this is actually the top of the gas tank here. Um, all the gutter system here is all nicely painted. The bottom side of the uh, deck lid is nicely painted. You can see they had the latch off when they uh, did the restoration. That shows a lot of care in the way they did the restoration. As you look down the passenger side there, straight as an arrow, somebody spent a lot of time blocking this car and getting her nice and straight. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we do not do any consignment whatsoever. So that means we own this Mustang. So you know we did our homework before we laid out our money. Then the first thing that happens to every car here at Vanguard is they go up on the lift so we can inspect them, take pictures, do a video of the car so you know exactly what your dream's gonna look like when we park it in your driveway. All right, guys, here we go. Mustang convertible time, but you know what? It's a little cool today and the sun's not out, so that is the coolest thing about a convertible. Put the top up. Of course, we still got the window down. So very, very cool little car here. Very seldom do you find these babies in this kind of shape because people love these cars so much, they just drove them into the ground most of the time. They got handed down from family member to family member parked out in the front yard, sold to the neighbor. I mean, these things are probably one of the most popular cars out here right now. These little Mustang convertibles, this first gen. What a sweet machine we got right here too. Now don't forget you can call Tom anytime at 248-974-9513. He'll tell you all about this car and just how easy it is to park it in your driveway. And if you want help with uh, financing, no problem there either. We got about five different banks we work with on financing, so we can hook you up. If you want to come visit us, we would love to have you. We're close to the airport if you need to fly in. We'll make a special appointment for you on Saturday if you want to come into the shop. Oh, the horn works. I just hit the horn button. So down here on the dash, you can see all the gauges are looking sweet down here. Speedo's working. Looks like the fuel gauge. Looks like we could use some fuel. Oil pressure, 
And then it's got the stock radio in it, so if you're one of those guys or gals who likes to listen to the radio, you better get you one of those uh, retro sound radios. They're really cool. They kind of look old school, but you can hook your cell phone up to them and all that, Stratify and all that. I don't even know what it's all called. I don't do any of that shit. <laughs> hey, there's the horn again. It's working. So we're gonna do something that nobody else in the industry does to every one of their cars in inventory. At Vanguard, every car in inventory goes up on the lift so you can see just how nice the bottom side is. You know, it's just like the foundation on the house. If the bottom side of the car doesn't look good, you know what? The rest of the car probably isn't good. That's why we get every car up on the lift and show you exactly what it looks like. Now, a lot of you, I guess, have been uh, raising questions. Y'all think I'm losing too much weight. Some of you think I'm dying. Well, I actually went in for heart surgery out at the Mayo Clinic. They fixed me up. I'm exercising, eating right, and that's why I'm losing weight. Stick with us. We're going in the air with this baby right now. All right, we're underneath this Mustang now, and you can see it's nicely restored on the bottom side. You can see a brand new tank, brand new exhaust. I see brand new bushings in the springs here. It uh, looks like new shocks. We got a Ford 8-inch rear end in here. Um, I believe, let's see, I'm gonna have to look at my cheat sheet here. 280 gear in there, and it is an open rear end. You can see that it's got dual exhaust. Now on the brakes, the guys will pull those all apart, make sure they're in good working order. Looks like there's some new U-bolts here. We got Flowmaster mufflers. That's why that 289 sounds so good. Now the floorboards have been all cleaned up and coated with primer, just like they would have been from the factory. We do have one patch back here on the passenger side. Looks like they've welded it all in and seam sealed it in real nice. Everything under here is nice and clean. We got the top loader trans. All the numbers do line up on this thing, at least the dates do. Uh, they didn't put uh, VIN stamps on these babies back in the day. So, but all the dates line up that this very well could be the original trans. Bell housing also looks stock. It's got stock clutch linkage. It's got the stock exhaust manifolds. Bottom side of the motor's all cleaned up nice. Looks like the lower control arms are new units, so the ball joints are new. The upper control arms also look like they're new. Uh, the drums up front here look like they're fairly new too. Radius arm bushings are new also. I mean, everything under here is nice and clean, nicely restored. They did a lot of work to this car. Now up front here, we've got the uh, red line uh, bias ply tires, just like what had come on back in the day. These are BFGs and um, Let's see, they're uh, 695 by 14s. As you look down the side of it, the paint is looking good, the rocker molding's looking good. Whenever you're looking at, especially a convertible, you gotta look at this pinch weld. See how nice and clean that pinch weld is all the way down. Bottom side of the rocker's all nice and clean and nicely painted. Out back here, we got the same good looking tire and wheel combo. Let's get under the hood. All right, under the hood here, also the same deal as the transmission. Uh, they did not stamp VIN numbers on these blocks back in 66, but all the dates do line up. So the casting date and everything lines up that this very well could be the original motor. That's what we believe. Um, it does have a two barrel Autolite carburetor on it. You can see the VIN stamp here and the, uh, right there, baby. The uh, shock tower is also looking good. Uh, it's got the stock um, master cylinder on it, the stock clutch linkage. It is manual steering on this car. I mean, it's got the extra braces that the 66 has had. The bottom side of the hood's nicely painted. The motor's nicely painted. It does look like it's got the original style um, distributor in it. I mean, everything under here is looking nice and sweet, baby. It does look like it still has points in it, too. I just see one wire coming over to the coil. Um, everything about this car is just absolutely gorgeous, guys. The top goes down, it shifts, it's numbers matching. Give us a call, 248-974-9513, and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your drive.